Hi, I'm Jerry Graber with Dynamax, and today's video is all about the new Firefly Multiplex system for the SATA 3 series. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to go over is the touchscreen panel for the Firefly Multiplex system. You'll notice along the left is actually your navigation panel. You'll have a home button, auto gen start, lighting, heating and cooling, slides and awning, and setting. We're going to go over the home button first. On the home screen, you're going to have four quadrants. In the upper left, you'll have your water pump and your inverter. When you press and hold, it'll turn the inverter on and it'll go blue. Below that are your master lights on and off. What's important to know is that you're going to have dimmable lights throughout the coach. So say you have the lights throughout set at different dimming settings, you'll just press and hold the on button and that'll bring everything back to full intensity. If you have everything at different dim modes and you press off, it's going to store those different dim settings. So when you press on, it's going to remember that. Again, to reset that, you'll just hold the on button there. In the upper right, you have your different tank levels. We have the True Tank Leveling System, which is a sonic uh, leveling system that's going to show you in 5% increments for your three different tanks here, your fresh, gray, and black. You have 35 gallons fresh, 32 gray, and 32 black. Your LP is going to show as full, uh, half, or low. In the low setting, it'll mean it's under 25%. In between, it'll be between 75 and 25%, and full will be 75% or up. Down below is where you would turn on your 12 volt tank heaters that are located on your gray, black, and fresh tank. In the bottom left quadrant, you have your climate control. Your current temperature will be displayed to the right, currently at 68 degrees. And then for your desired temperature, you would just scroll through to pick that um, and go from there. Now there's a whole other menu there for your heating and cooling and we'll go over that later. In the bottom right, you're going to see a digital display of your house batteries and your chassis battery. Up top here is your auto gen start where you can press and enable that. Down below is where you can uh, press and hold for one second to start your generator and then also stop it to the right. It'll show the overall hours of your generator uh, in the number below the gen stopped language. The next page is the auto gen start settings. Auto gen start was a great new feature that we were able to incorporate with this Firefly multiplex system. Uh, essentially what you'll have is two different triggers that you will uh, engage your generator. You can set it for low voltage or HVAC load, which means that once a certain temperature would be reached, it's going to kick on your air conditioner and or heat pump. Okay, so again, you can either have both of them on or one of them on. Next, you're going to have your generator hours runtime. Followed by that, you're going to be able to set your quiet time, so time of day that uh, you it won't allow the generator to kick on. Right now we have it set for uh, quiet time for uh, starting at 10 p.m. and then stopping at 8 a.m. And you would just do right and left buttons to change that time. In the next column over, you're going to see when you would set the low voltage number. Now, we would typically set that at 12.1 or 12.2. It'll then ask you how many seconds do you want it to be below that threshold before it starts the generator. Currently we have it set at 60 seconds. And then when the batteries get recharge at what point do you want the generator to kick off 13.2 is pretty common and then how long do you want that top range to be stable before uh, the generator actually kicks off and we have that set currently at 120 in the far right column you have the minimum generator runtime that can be adjusted all the way up to 30 minutes or as low as 10 minutes below that you have the maximum generator runtime that can be between 120 minutes up to 720 minutes. And then you can set how many times the generator will retry to kick on, and that'll go up to five. Next, we're gonna go over the HVAC load trigger. Here it's gonna tell you the trigger will start the generator if AGS is enabled and the HVAC load is set to run. Do not use this trigger if plugged into shore power, so make sure you're not plugged into shore power before you engage this. We're going to say yes. This new auto gen start feature is very important because it allows you to make sure that your batteries don't get damaged from low voltage. Also, when you have animals in the coach, all you'll do is in your climate control settings, designate your desired temperature, and then when your HVAC load is on, uh, if the temperature goes above that mark, it's going to kick on the generator and uh, get your air conditioner and or heat pump going. 
to either heat up or cool off your coach to make sure your pets are comfortable. The next page is your lighting. You'll see up top that you have your master light switch, which we already went over. To the left, you're going to have your lights for your exterior, which would be your porch light, your awning light, and you see that toggle switch to the right? That means that the light in the roll bar of that awning is dimmable. So when you hold it once, it's gonna to begin to dim it, let go, hold it again, and it's gonna bring that light back up. Then the last one is for your cargo bay lights. To the right are your interior lights. Again, all of these have those toggles off to the right, so they're all dimmable. The next page is your climate control. Again, just like the home page, you're going to have your current temperature off to the right, followed by the ability to set your desired temperature here. In the climate section, the coolest for your air conditioner. Here you have your heat pump, furnace, and auto. Self-explanatory, uh, when you press that button, it'll go blue and that'll turn on your air conditioner. Same for these other two. The auto mode is connected to your heat pump, and your air conditioner. Uh, in which case, when that auto is pressed, it'll use those two items to automatically run to maintain that desired temperature up above. In the fan section, you have high, low, and you also have that same auto setting. Essentially, it'll adjust the fan speed to maintain that desired temperature up above. The next page is your slides and awning. It's going to warn you to make sure the park brake is set and a power source either from shore power or engine is running is required. You're going to get a digital readout of your floor plan. Up top you'll see the slide and this is where you would press and hold to extend or retract that slide. And then to the right you have your awning. You'll press and hold for a second to retract. Press and hold for a second to extend. The last page is the settings. Up in the left you have your mobile app, which we'll go over at the end. To the right of that is cleaning mode. If you press that button, it's going to freeze the screen up for 15 seconds and allow you to clean off the screen. In the next row, you can set your temperature to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Then you have your network diagnostics. Then you have the display of the battery status of the bed switch, which we'll go over later. The floor plan designation, we're in a 24FW currently. Then to the right are your screen settings. You can set the brightness. You can choose from a variety of color displays. To the right is the auto dimming button. When that button is engaged, the screen will go black after 60 seconds of inactivity. If it is not engaged, during the day, this screen will stay on after inactivity for four hours and at night, 15 minutes. Then in the bottom right, you can set your time of day. Now we're going to go over that mobile app button, which is going to allow you to connect your smartphone to your Firefly Multiplex system through the Vega Touch Myra app. So what you're going to want to do is go to your app store and look up Vega Touch Myra. It'll come up, it'll be 99 cents after you purchase it. Go ahead and open that. It said it will not work because uh, Bluetooth wasn't turned on. So you're going to want to go to your screen, turn on that Bluetooth, now you're ready to scan. When this is done scanning, it'll pull up the system that's closest and identify that with your touchscreen panel and the Myra ID there. Perfect, we have the right system. We're ready to connect. Now it's going to ask for the authentication code, which is found as the Myra pin on the touchscreen panel. Currently it is 777777 then you'll press authenticate then it's going to ask you to change your pin so I'll do that quickly press set pin it's going to install the update then as you can see the display for the Firefly Multiplex system will show up on your phone much like the touchscreen panel where you'll have a home lighting climate control and slides in and out with the home screen, you'll have the master lights, and you'll be able to go into the lights themselves, go through the different dimming functions, which I'll do the living room lights now. Hold that, begins to dim the switches. Hold it again, and it'll bring it back up. And then you also have your exterior lights, which will allow you to do your cargo bays, your awning light, 
again dimmable because it has the toggle switch to the right, and then your porch light. And then for your exterior, there's also a master on off. So let's go back home. We went over the master lights, the lighting. You'll be able to turn the inverter on and off. You'll have your climate control, current temperature, desired temperature, and you can go to climate more detail, just like on the touchscreen panel. Below will be your tanks, tank heater, water pump, house and chassis battery display. Be able to start and stop your generator, enable your auto gen start. You can even do your auto gen start settings, just like on the touchscreen. Then on the navigation panel, you can go just to your lights, just to your climate control, or just to your slide outs and on. The great thing about the smartphone app control for the Firefly system is that you're able to extend that awning right from your phone. So when you're sitting around the campfire or setting up camp, you can just be going out. Then when the awning is out, you'll just go to the lights settings of the smartphone app, go to your awning, press and hold, and that'll allow you to dim this light bar. Then when it's time to pack up and go home, just the touch of the button will bring your slide in so that you're going to be doing other things outside getting ready to go. When you first walk in the coach, you'll find this smart touch panel. On the bottom will be your master disconnect. You'll press and hold to bring your master lights on. Take all the lights off. You'll press and hold the master off. Your entry door step override is located right here. Above the master lights will be the extend and retract for your awning. You'll just press and hold for a second to engage. Then you have your awning lights. You have that toggle switch to the right which tells you that it's dimmable. Exterior lights, all your cargo bays are lighted now so you can turn those lights on and off. It'll highlight blue when the light is on. Same thing for your porch light which will be your actual porch light and your lit grab handle. And then one section of your living room lights. You see the toggle to the right, so you know that they're dimmable as well. On the setting page of the touchscreen panel, it gave you a digital readout of the bedroom switch panel, which is located right here. This is actually a wireless touch panel here. That means that you can relocate this wherever you want, and the battery display will show up on your touchscreen panel, so you know the status. From this touch panel here, you can do your master lights on and off, generator start, generator stop, You'll have a reading light on each side of the bed, and they're also dimmable, so you'll just press and hold to dim or to bring back up. Same thing for ceiling lights in the bedroom, and you'll have bathroom lights that are also dimmable with this button here. So that does it for this video. Hope you learned a thing or two about their Firefly Multiplex system, the great features it has like Auto Gen Start and the Bluetooth smartphone app control. Appreciate you visiting. Please shut the door on your way out. It's time to get some shut-eye. Have a good night.